In this lesson, we want to create this LED board and uh, we create this text auto yourselves uh, on it and we can animate it through the, this board and make it render. We use a light, as you can see, we use a simple light, then clone it to the grid array, then use a value, and then we create a text connected to the one value and then insert it as a connect object here. In a parameter, we don't need position, scale, rotation. We want to use a color mode, effector mode. As you can see, the color of the light is brighter than uh, the, the intersection between this value and uh, the, this cloner, uh, they are brighter because in a parameter, in a color mode, we have to use the effector color. And in a blending mode, it means it's mixing this color of the uh, cloner. Actually, this is the color of the light. And the value intersection, we want to add this uh, color changing to cloner. So make it add. And then let's do this project. Okay, let's begin with the uh, light. This is our light. This is a standard ST. It means a standard light because we have a redshift <coughs> installed native in Cinema 4D. I will be explaining the lighting system uh, in the next lessons, late series. Uh, so if you render the light, as you can see, you cannot see anything because uh, it's the, in, in the general tab. I will explain it. Don't worry. Just, just look at it. In the visible light, it is, it's not. You have to make it visible. If you render now, you can see light. But uh, if you select a light, we want to this fall off, make it smaller like this, and then render it now. You can see it better. <clears throat> and uh, we want to change the, the color of the light, something like a yellow. Now, uh, let's clone. Holding Alt and click on the cloner. Yeah, grid. Uh, of course, in this mode, not in this mode. Yeah. And make it a bigger like a LED board. No, don't forget to uh, end point to uh, increase inside. Yeah, and in this direction. Nice. If you render. Now you can see LEDs. <clears throat> you can make them bigger in any direction. Yeah, it's nice. Now, we want to use a volume, for example, a 3D text. This is our 3D text. Uh, I changed the depth. We want more depth and we want to pass through this uh, cloner and we can make it bigger. It's our text. And like a LED board, it's traveled through this uh, LED and it's effect lighter. We want to, uh, if <coughs> we pass through this, this text that you can change it to our channel tutorial cells oops tutorial cells nice oh that's big yeah that's nice okay and uh, you can affect it okay you can if you want to affect a cloner value of course you have to select effector value and in a volume, which one do you want to introduce the cloner? This text. And in a value, in a parameter, we don't need a scale or anything. We just want to change the color mode uh, at um, effector color. And as you can see, if you render, it turn it off. So go to the volume. Uh, in a blending mode, you can change it to the add. Blending mode, add. It means 
if you render <coughs> now another thing because uh, we don't need this value we have to turn it off holding alt and double click to turn it off see what's happened it does not change anything so okay go to the value okay what's the problem actually if you insert if you insert the text uh, if you turn it on in a viewer as you can see it's completely match what happened in this case I think it does not um, calculate it's a one as a one value in this case what we can do uh, we can use connect object and make a text child of that and let's test in a value instead of the text we change the connect and uh, hide this and let's test it now it's working it's uh, interesting because it was <clears throat> it's created as a separate object it does not uh calculate as a one value and this happened if in a text in any 3d the value does not work connect it and now it's ready you can animate your uh led board like this uh if for better seeing that you can go to the cloner in an effector you can for example this is in in, in this is in 100 in uh, default and it's very uh not sharp if you make it, uh, for example, 500%, now we have a nice and light. And you can then animate your connect object from here to the here, and then render it to the picture viewer and see your uh, results in animation. And that's very easy. I, don't worry, I will be explaining all of these uh, render settings after we explain the light, then go to the render setting, then with material. And this huge series of the Cinema 4 is one by one. In this lesson, we just to uh, explain how to create such a this LED board. You can enter any other object. So the main uh, in, and most important things is is connected and sometimes it does not work you can connect it nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release